During my time at college here, I spent a lot of time at the Noel Fine Arts Center. It just reminds me of home, reminds me of my safe place, reminds me of creativity, reminds me of love, and it's just always such a pleasure to come back. I started as a business major. I wanted to go into business. I wanted to open up my own um, sports shop, sell sports equipment. Um, I knew I just wanted to do something physical and, and uh, in the sports world because I just liked that whole idea of teamwork. I was just going to minor in dance. And then I just fell in love with it so much. And the, the professors were fantastic. They were open and they were loving and they were supportive. They worked with me. They pushed me just enough. Um, and I realized I wanted to make this my full-time commitment. My professors at UWSP were incredibly influential in my life, in my career, and beyond. I think they saw um, something that I didn't see. I think they saw natural talent. He was a sponge, you know, that kind of learner, um, and really open-minded. And I think that that's really a, a big part of it, in addition to him, his own passion and joy. You know, clearly the guy likes to move. You know, yeah, you know, he can't help it. It's, you know, it's just inside of him and part of who he is. I know Gerald practiced a lot on his own in the studio, and he didn't mind being on his own. I think that's another part of his success, is he doesn't mind investing the personal investment that it takes. I wanted to always be in that room. I would always look at all the students going out on a Saturday night, and I'd be in there prepping and dancing and, and having the time of my life. And it was just so much fun to me. There was a night where I actually spent the night in the dressing room because I was there so late and I knew I had to be back the next day for ballet class at 10 a.m. that I ended up just sleeping in the dressing room. And uh, I just remember students coming in and just being like, why do you look like a mess? <laughs> when I saw him perform in Hamilton on Broadway, I couldn't take my eyes off him. He looked just like himself in the middle of this complex choreography, and he made it look simple. Being in Hamilton was life-changing. To be on the stage was, it was just once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We knew what we had was special. In Hamilton, Gerald is a swing, which is a very demanding position. The swing has to know everybody's track, everybody's spacing, everybody's entrances and exits, where the bodies are going in the formation. It's a huge, impressive talent and mind that can track all that. You're dancing for over two and a half hours, you're partnering, you're lifting up props. There's a, there's a turning, uh, there's a turntable, so you're learning how to get on and off the turntable and dancing on the turntable and partnering on the turntable and it adds up. So you have to um, first set your mind right. Starts with that and then commit and condition. It was very exciting to have Gerald teach a master class here at Point. How cool is it to know that Gerald was a student here too? So that's a kind of a connection that's, I think, very empowering. I wanted to push them to their boundaries to make sure that they were comfortable enough to explore the material that I was giving them, the intent I was giving them, the spacing I was giving them, the dynamics I was giving them. Everyone is talking about how the world feels like it's upside down, so now it just seems the right time to have love and light in the classroom, in the studio, to support each other and to lift each other up. And um, if I can bring that as a teacher, then I'm more than happy to bring that to UWSP.